there, science fans. Get ready to dive into the fascinating world of Kingdom Monera. This kingdom is home to the oldest and simplest life forms on Earth bacteria. These microscopic wonders are prokaryotes, meaning they lack a true nucleus. Don't let their simplicity fool you, though. Bacteria are incredibly diverse and play vital roles in our world. From the soil beneath our feet to the air we breathe, bacteria are everywhere. They are essential for nutrient cycling, decomposition and even our own health. Some bacteria can even survive in extreme environments like hot springs and deep sea vents. We're about to embark on a journey into the amazing world of bacteria. Get ready to discover their shapes, their inner workings and their incredible impact on our planet. Buckle up science fans, it's going to be a microscopic adventure. Just like animals come in all shapes and sizes, so do bacteria. Their diverse forms are not just for show, they often reflect their unique lifestyles and functions. Let's meet some of the most common bacterial shapes. First up, we have the spherical culci, pronounced cocci. These little guys resemble tiny balls and can be found individually or in groups. Some cochi even form chains like Streptococcus, the culprit behind strep throat. Next, we have the rod-shaped bacilli, pronounced bucilli. These bacteria resemble tiny pills or rods and are incredibly diverse. Some bacilli are responsible for causing diseases like tuberculosis, while others help us digest food and boost our immune systems. Now, prepare to be amazed by these spiral-shaped spirilla, pronounced spiral R. These bacteria look like tiny corkscrews and are known for their wiggly movements. Finally, we have the comma-shaped vibrios, pronounced vibrios. Understanding these shapes helps scientists classify bacteria and study their roles in various ecosystems and even within our own bodies. Now that we've met some bacteria and learned about their shapes, let's journey inside and explore their structure. Don't forget your microscopic goggles. The first thing you'll notice is the cell wall, a tough outer layer that gives bacteria their shape and protects them from bursting. Just beneath the cell wall lies the plasma membrane, a thin, flexible layer that controls what enters and exits the cell. Inside the plasma membrane lies the cytoplasm, a jelly-like substance that houses the cell's essential components. Floating within the cytoplasm is the nucleus, a region containing the bacterial DNA. Scattered throughout the cytoplasm are ribosomes, tiny protein factories that build all the proteins the cell needs to function. While they may be small, these prokaryotic cells are incredibly efficient and adaptable, allowing them to thrive in diverse environments all over our planet. Bacteria are masters of multiplication, reproducing rapidly to colonize new environments and outcompete their neighbors. Their primary mode of reproduction is called binary fission, a process that's as simple as it sounds. One cell divides into two. During binary fission, the bacterial cell replicates its DNA and then splits in half, creating two identical daughter cells. This process can happen incredibly fast, with some bacteria dividing every 20 minutes. While binary fission is efficient for rapid population growth, it doesn't introduce much genetic diversity. To mix things up, bacteria have developed other methods of genetic exchange. Conjugation is like bacterial sex, where two bacteria connect via a pilus, a bridge-like structure, and exchange genetic material. Transformation is like bacterial recycling, where bacteria scavenge DNA from their surroundings, often from dead bacteria. Finally, transduction is like bacterial hijacking, where viruses called bacteriophages accidentally transfer bacterial DNA between cells. Through a combination of rapid division and genetic exchange, bacteria have become incredibly successful at adapting and thriving in diverse environments. Section 5, Archaebacteria versus Eubacteria, a tale of two domains. While all bacteria belong to the prokaryotic domain, they're not all created equal. Scientists divide the bacterial world into two major domains, Archaebacteria and Eubacteria. Let's explore their differences. Archaebacteria, as their name suggests, are ancient bacteria that thrive in extreme environments. 
Think boiling hot springs, acidic volcanic vents, and even the oxygen-deprived depths of the ocean. These extremophiles have unique adaptations that allow them to survive where other life forms cannot. Eubacteria, on the other hand, are the bacteria we encounter every day. They inhabit soil, water, and even our own bodies. Eubacteria are incredibly diverse and play essential roles in nutrient cycling, decomposition, and even our own health. One key difference between these domains lies in their cell walls. Archaebacteria lack peptidoglycan, a molecule found in the cell walls of most eubacteria. Another key difference lies in their genetic makeup. The discovery of archaebacteria revolutionized our understanding of life on Earth. Section 6 Cyanobacteria, the original photosynthesizers. Prepare to be amazed by cyanobacteria, the original masters of photosynthesis. These remarkable bacteria, also known as blue-green algae, played a crucial role in shaping the Earth's atmosphere and paving the way for life as we know it. Cyanobacteria are like tiny green factories, using sunlight, carbon dioxide and water to produce their own food through photosynthesis. This process releases oxygen as a byproduct, gradually enriching the Earth's early atmosphere with this life-giving gas. Cyanobacteria are also nitrogen fixers, meaning they can convert atmospheric nitrogen into a usable form for other organisms. This process is essential for building proteins and other essential molecules, making nitrogen fixation crucial for life on Earth. Their ability to photosynthesize and fix nitrogen makes cyanobacteria essential contributors to Earth's ecosystems. So the next time you take a deep breath of fresh air, remember to thank cyanobacteria, the original oxygen producers. Section 7. Mycoplasma, the shape-shifting bacteria. Get ready to meet Mycoplasma, the bacterial rebels that defy convention. These tiny bacteria lack a cell wall, giving them a unique ability to change their shape and squeeze through spaces other bacteria can't. Without a rigid cell wall, mycoplasma are incredibly flexible and can take on a variety of forms, from spherical to filamentous. This adaptability allows them to inhabit diverse environments, including soil, water, and even the respiratory and urogenital tracts of animals, including humans. While some mycoplasma species are harmless, others can cause diseases in humans, such as pneumonia and pelvic inflammatory disease. Their ability to change shape and evade the immune system makes them particularly challenging to treat. The study of mycoplasma provides valuable insights into the minimal requirements for cellular life and the diverse strategies bacteria employ to survive and thrive. Section 8. The importance of bacteria tiny organisms, big impact. As we've explored the diverse world of Kingdom Monera, one thing is clear, bacteria are essential for life on Earth. These tiny organisms play crucial roles in maintaining the balance of our planet's ecosystems and even influencing our own health. Bacteria are the ultimate recyclers, breaking down dead organic matter and releasing nutrients back into the environment. This process is essential for nutrient cycling and maintaining soil fertility, supporting plant growth and, ultimately, all life on Earth. Many bacteria form symbiotic relationships with other organisms, providing benefits to both parties. For example, bacteria in our gut help us digest food and produce vitamins, while we provide them with a cosy home and plenty of nutrients. Scientists are constantly exploring new ways to harness the power of bacteria for biotechnology and bioremediation. Section 9 Bacteria and you, a lifelong relationship. From the moment we're born, we enter into a lifelong relationship with bacteria. They colonize our skin, our gut, and even our mouths, forming a complex ecosystem known as the human microbiome. This microbial community plays a crucial role in our health, influencing our immune system, metabolism, and even our mood. While some bacteria can cause disease, the vast majority of bacteria in our bodies are beneficial or harmless. They compete with harmful bacteria, help us digest food, and even train our immune system to fight off infections. Maintaining a healthy microbiome involves a balanced diet, regular exercise, and avoiding unnecessary antibiotic use. 
By learning more about our microbial partners, we can develop new strategies to improve human health and well-being. Section 10. Exploring the microscopic world, a final word. As we conclude our journey through the fascinating world of Kingdom Monera, I hope you've gained a newfound appreciation for these tiny but mighty organisms. From the ancient extremophiles to the bacteria that call our bodies home, bacteria are essential for life as we know it, so keep asking questions, keep exploring, and never underestimate the power of the unseen.